One of the features in Microsoft Word that I love is the ability to set up auto text. So if I type my initials and press the space bar, it puts my name there instead. Same way if I do SMCC, press the space bar, I can get South Mountain Community College. Just saves me some time as far as typing. And a lot of IDs have code snippets. And Android Studio is no different. In Android Studio, I can go to the File menu, come down to Settings or Preferences on the Mac, go into the Editor area, and you'll find Live Templates. And Live Templates are categorized. So there's Android Kotlin, and I can type whatever is here and have it put code in. So like here's Toast, which we'll talk about uh, in a couple of weeks. I can just type toast and it's going to put the code in for me. There's also a Kotlin. So fun0 creates a function with, zero, with no parameters. Fun1 creates a function with one parameter and fun2 creates a function with two parameters. There's an if n which present, inserts an if null expression. So in my code, if I type an if n and press the enter key, it's going to put in that structure if edit text equals null. And this is a variable. So I can click on that and I can say if TV result equals null, I might want to do something. Well, that's pretty handy, but I have to memorize what those different things are or know which letters I need to type to get what I'm looking for. So I want to point out that you can also go into Live Templates and you can create your own categories or template groups and then add templates. So I created a template group here for Husteady Kotlin and you'll see I added a bunch of stuff in here. Now for the variables, let me come back up here to Kotlin. Let's take a look at that if n, and let's see the format here. So we give it a, an abbreviation, a description, so what we see in the parentheses with a little bit lighter text, and then the text that we want. And you can do a dollar sign and a variable name and a dollar sign. And that comes up with the ability to enter text. I had some problems with that. I haven't quite figured out how to make that work. So what I did instead, rather than cancel, I'm going to go back to Hustedy Kotlin. So here's what I did in terms of I want to hide the action bar. Now this one doesn't have any variables in it, but I use this a lot. I didn't want to have to, to type this all in each time. I wanted to just be able to specify an abbreviation. Now for each of mine, I start with my initials, SFH, an underscore, and then a kind of a subcategory. So I have actions and the name of the action. Or here I have all my conditions. So I created templates for if else, if else if, or just if, or when. Here's one that I use for formatting currency. So I'll probably do a bunch more formatting, maybe formatting for a certain number of decimal places. Here's to create a function for an event. Here's, here's a function that returns a value. And here's a function that doesn't return a value, which in other languages, such as Visual Basic, we might call a sub procedure. So I just named, named it sub. Here's loops, do, for, while. Variables for an array list, variables for a typed. And then if I want to create a nullable declaration of a view, I have SFH view underscore nullable declaration, SFH view nullable ref. Now I don't have to type this whole thing. As we're gonna see, we're gonna get some, some help as we type like SFH, I'm gonna see all these come up. Now, as I enter these, as I create these, so I, I click the plus sign here and add, I create the abbreviation, I create the description, and I type in the code that I want. There's one other step that you have to do, and that is you need to set the context. So you can click this change, and you can choose where is this gonna be available. So I set this up as available in Kotlin as a statement. Maybe I want it available everywhere in Kotlin. So I can choose Kotlin 
as the main grouping and it will click all of those. Maybe I don't want to have that available in a comment. So I can unclick the various things that I don't want to use. I'm going to go ahead and click apply. I'm going to go back to my code. And so like in this on create, I'd like to have it hide that action bar. So I'm going to type SFH and I can then choose from the list. If I know I'm looking for an action, I might just choose underscore AC and I'll see all my actions here. And I can just double click this and it types in that code for me. This is a great way to set up sort of a, a cheat sheet, but live in Android Studio. If I want to do a when structure, I can choose conditional when. Now, I don't have the variables here. What I have instead is a dollar sign and what that should be there. So it's sort of like a variable. I just have to double click on it and change it. So maybe I want when num1. And so if num1 equals 5, I want to do something. And I can, of course, copy and paste this and, and create my win structure. But now I've got a help system here of a single statement. Here's one that takes a statement block inside of quotes. And here's one where I just have an else. And I could choose if I wanted to just do a single statement. I can just put it as a single statement and write the statement. So that's how I anticipate using live templates as I'm writing code. To help you get started in Canvas in the modules area, I added under helpful resources a Word document of live templates, Hustedy Kotlin Group Reference B, and you can open that up or download it. And so you can copy and paste the code that I've written here into your live templates. I just create a group for your maybe your own initials. So rather than SFH, you might use your initials. So um, this is just to kind of help you get started of what I put in there and how I plan to use this. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the Android App Development Cohort playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.